Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am hiding indoors, out of the flies, out of the heat. It is just so humid and it's, it's been humid for so long now. I'm not sleeping, the garden's suffering. We're not getting as much done as I want to. Um, Marcus is still plowing on, bless him. I don't know how he manages in the heat, but it's really, really getting to me and uh, yeah, it's a bit disappointing, but I'm taking the opportunity to get out and about with the girls. Summer holidays, so lakes and beaches and wherever else, museums and stuff, we're getting out and about, so that's all good stuff. And um, the car has air conditioning, so oh well. So anyway, we'll roll the footage and you can see what we've been up to. wonder what daddy's doing. I can hear some whirring. Oh, I think there's a tree missing. Oh yeah, th there, there it is. What you doing daddy? This tree that's half fallen over from tree that half oh fantastic this tree that's half fallen over from fiona it's getting all leading leaf now so um it's usually laying right through here and it's coming down on the road and it's sticking out to sort of here so i've just felled it through the middle there um stumps laid back in the hole and um i'm making goat food awesome i'm gonna give them to my goats So, have you joined us out in the in the in, in the, the flies? Yeah, in the bunch. So we got we got all of that tree that's fallen through here, nice. all to, taken out. There's still one there, uh, but we can pull that, trim it off, and pull that out now. Um, well, it was going to fall in the road eventually. I'm going to clear the rest of this pile here, and uh, then I'm going to have a break for a bit because it's really. Horrible. It's really buggy, yep. Yeah, I'll give you like the video camera because you're much better than me. So as you can see, the goats have done a fantastic job of eating most of the actual leaves off. We're just left with the wood for either logging up or wood chipping or whatnot.
you watching the drama? Look at this. Why? Why are there blue jays in the meat chick cage? How did you even get in? How did you? No. Why? Right, let's let them out, shall we, Gary's? Be free. There goes one. Pat, you're not a bird. Get out. There goes the other. Patch out. Where's the penguin? You guys all right? What are birds doing to you? What are birds doing? So I thought I would give you a little update. So it's evening. It's blustery, which means there's no flies. And although it's a really, really warm breeze, it's not horrible, horrible heat. So um, so I'll take the opportunity to come outside and. I'll just update you. Um, because of the heat, we've not been doing a huge amount. Um, and I think the garden's suffering a little bit because of that. The meat chicks are quite happy, but we do keep getting a few blue jays in here every so often. Oh, hello, Gwen. Are you spoiled, Gwen? You like your bread, don't you? Mm. <laughs> You're not gluten free, are you? You're mm. not watching your weight, that's for sure. You're not watching your weight? You know what's in your way? Oh, not Meg? Gwen. Oh. Gwen's having that too. So the potatoes are looking nice and green. They We checked them a couple of weeks ago and there wasn't anything there. So uh, we'll leave them a little bit longer just to see. Um, the zucchini or the summer squash there is recovering. And these are recovering for the most part, but we are still having huge bug issues. Um, a lot of the broccoli, well, we had two broccolinis that we got from the store and they are wanting to go to bulb. And I'm sure that's because of the heat. The heat has been totally different. So last year, the broccoli did really, really well. So we thought we would plant more. And this year it's been topsy-turvy. And um, yeah, they've wanted to bulb. So we planted the sugar snap peas twice now and they have been eaten down one end where this isn't. So yeah, that's a bit annoying and we're dealing with a little bit of black fly on the brussels. As you can see, we haven't finished on that side. It's just been so hot, I've not wanted to come out. Marcus has actually been dealing with a lot of the watering. Um, and I've just been getting absolutely bitten, so... It's not been my favourite place. You can see the beans, pole beans are doing really well, or runner beans if you're in the UK. Um, yeah, it's a little crazy. So yeah, we need to finish that, especially since the wind's got up now. Right, we've got a broccoli coming there. But after this having been a disaster, oh, look, there's a nice little weed. That's that was free, I'm guessing, after the disasters. Actually, I don't think we've done too badly. So, yeah, I need to pick. So, as I say, I've not been down here regularly. I've not been pickling regularly. I kind of got very despondent with it. Right. Turn the water on. So the hose pipes. So for the most part, the tomatoes have recovered pretty well after we've fertilised them massively. So clearly that was the issue. And I've also read that the bugs will hamper. I've also read that the bugs will hamper the cucumber plants and things like that if they're weaker. So I do wonder if with the wood chip everything's just weaker this year. So yeah, we had soil, but the quality of the soil was just not there. Um, so yeah, so, um, I have been really despondent with it. And uh, But look how well these tomatoes are doing down here. All the blooms on them. Tomatoes look green. Rhubarb's alive. Yeah, my uh, radishes went to bolt. So I'm leaving them to see what they look like when they get their seeds and that sort of stuff because I'm still 
I've never done seed saving really. So that is something new I'm trying this year. But I think when these do come, there's going to be a lot of them. You can see lots of little green ones. But again, this is where we're fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting for our cucumber plant. I need to take that leaf off, really. It's just crawling. Um, just crawling in the bugs. Um, I'm trying to compare last year to this year because last year's, I feel, had more success than this year. I know it's not over. But last year, we were late putting the polytunnel up, so everything was planted late. Uh, a lot of things were started from starts rather than seed. Um, so, and it was cooler, and we had less. I feel like we had less rain. I want to see if, see if I can compare last year's weather to this year's weather. Um, I just really wonder if it has just been the weather that has completely changed so much. And my one little plant is actually producing something. Please, the little onions that we planted, they're all starting to come up. I did plant kale in the middle, but we are really fighting the weeds here as well. Put a few up every time I come out. Yes, I'm hoping that's kale because I've planted kale through the middle. So, fingers crossed. We need to come through and weed these poor carrots. So there we have it. So nothing new has happened over here. Let's put the goats out. Which is a little disappointing because I just really want to get on out here and get stuff sorted. So I think Wednesday is going to be only 22, so it sounds like a good day for us. And although Mark has got the tree that was going through over to the road, we still have this to clear up. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, the bug situation and how much I've exploded and blown up. I'm really kind of waiting for autumn. Which seems really ridiculous to be wishing away the summer. But there we go. So that's all for this video. Um, hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, if it is cooler on Wednesday, we'll be able to get on and finish the side of the polytunnel. Because especially with the wind, it's a bit of a worry <laughs> having that released at the minute. And obviously you've not seen any of that footage yet. But we have actually managed to do one side of the polytunnel. Um, so hopefully I can get that video to you. And uh, yeah. Have a great rest of the week. Patch, what are you doing? What are you doing up there? She says I'm trying to read. <sighs> no, let her have a hug. She wants a hug. Oh, there we go. That leg's in, that's it. Now she's happy goat. Are you happy goat now? <laughs> Stretch these out. There we go. Like this is this is life, huh? Oh wow, sweet, just going for it, huh? You want to read my book with me? <laughs> you can't eat it. No. <laughs> you can't eat it. You itchy? Is that it? <laughs>